Hey all, it's Johnny Mullet here. Today we are going to talk about the Coleman CT200U EX mini bike. I purchased two of these mini bikes and today was supposed to be a, an epic day after a little bit of an accident last night and we were supposed to all go on a nice long mini bike ride, four of us together and enjoy the beautiful weather. But unfortunately, my mini bike broke down and we didn't even get to actually leave before it happened. Um, I wanted to run down to the mailbox and I just fired up and took it for a quick ride and I noticed it started making a, a clangity kind of a noise. Uh, kind of hard to explain but it was just noisy and I didn't like it. And when I came back I decided to look it over real quick and I found the chain was quite loose. So I, uh, I tightened the chain up by loosening the rear axle nut and adjusting the two um, adjusting bolts I'll show you here in a little bit and when I did that I didn't even make it to the end of the driveway and the back wheel locked up so I brought it back in and I found some problems so let me show you what I found here real quick let's check it out okay here is my Coleman CT no it's a CT 200U EX it's got a 196cc Predator clone type motor on it. It's all made in China. Um, the actual mini bike itself is not bad. I mean, everything seems to work. As you can see, the welds are kind of terrible. It's really not the, the best built mini bike on the market. I guarantee that. But for the price, you really can't go wrong. Um, these are not the factory bars. I replaced them, but... I mean, even the kill switch and the throttle, it's very, very cheap, cheap materials. And I thought maybe it would last a little bit longer than a half a mile, but I had a major, major breakdown. So let me show you what happened here. I'm going to grab a couple things. Okay, so here we are at the mini bike. Um, I'm not going to get too detailed, but basically... There's a cover, and there's four pins. I'm not going to get too detailed. It's pretty self-explanatory. you got these little pins, and they go in these four spots. The cover comes off, and then the chain has a... Whoops. The chain has a, uh, a master link, like a bicycle. You take the master link off, and you remove the chain, and remove the rear chain. So there's a small chain for the front, and a larger one for the rear. And... What I found was this part here was seized up and grinding, and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. So there was a, uh, a cotter pin inside this shaft and a 15 16 sized nut, and then I was able to slide this gear here off, and I lay everything straight down so I know the exact order to put it back on. Then we got this smaller gear here, lay it down right there, and there's this little keyway keeper that keeps everything lined up. So basically it's just like a lawnmower key, and that goes in the slot in the shaft. And then there's a little spacer. So everything's stacked up in order, and in here is two bearings. And what I found was after I tapped the shaft through the opposite side, so it would come out the other side of the mini bike. So what that left me was, there's the shaft, was the two bearings. Well, let me show you what I had to do was take a, a proper punch and a hammer and I had to, this was not the proper punch, it was actually a screwdriver. But what I did is I went down and caught the very edge of the bearing. And I tapped it with a hammer until the bearing popped out. And then went to the other side and pushed this bearing out the same way. So after tapping the bearing out, I'm actually probably going to have to tap this one out. Because I just stuck it in there to show you. There we go. And there is what your bearing looks like. The part number is uh, 6203RS. 
6203 Richard Samuel. And it's just a tiny little ball bearing. It's probably used in all kinds of stuff like alternators and well pumps and other things. Well, this is the bearing from the back side on the opposite side. This is the bearing. Look at that. That thing is mangled. That's the bearing from the front side that I noticed right away when I got the cover off. And the race is disintegrated. It's, it just destroyed itself so bad that it locked up. And as a matter of fact, uh, this is a spacer that goes between the bearings that the axle goes through. And what this does is the bearing will be, you know, set here and one will be set there. And that's the spacer. It actually, if you look at it, chewed it up a little bit. Let me get you a better view. You can see it chewed it up a little bit. So I'm going to polish this part here up. And that part name number I gave you, I looked it up on Amazon and I found four bearings for $10. Uh, they got good reviews. I'm going to go ahead and try them out. If they don't work out, I'm going to try something else like Timken. But I want to show you real quick about this bearing here that is unmolested. Check it out. So this is the good bearing that didn't burn up. It was on the opposite side. Um, if you find like a sharp, pointy object, you can take it in between the inner race and the seal, and you can pop this grease seal out. And this grease seal will reveal the bearings. You see a problem there? Pretty dry. Very dry. There should be a lot more grease in there. When I pack a bearing, I want it full of grease. And I also want the hub that all this stuff arrives in packed full of grease. Keeps the temperatures down, it keeps things lubricated. You know, it's, you gotta have it. So I don't understand, I understand, you know, stuff being shipped from China isn't the greatest quality, but maybe there's an EPA thing about shipping with too much grease or too much oil in something. So I'm gonna save this bearing here for a spare. Um, when I, my new bearings come in, I'm gonna take the seal out like I just showed you and I'm gonna pack them full of grease. I'm also gonna pack, pack that hub inside the uh, inside the jack shaft spindle. So I went on to the other mini bike that uh, we purchased and I noticed the chain was very, very tight. And I don't know if that attributed to it, but I rode the other mini bike. We canceled our ride, so I wanted to make sure everyone's mini bikes were good. I rode the other one. It wasn't making no grinding or shadowing noises, but I decided to check it out anyway. And I noticed that the main drive chain was super tight. There's supposed to be a half inch deflection. So whoever assembled the first part of these mini bikes at the factory, when they come into the crate, the rear wheel and chains are, and everything's on it. I think the chains were over tightened, causing my bearing failure. So I loosened the chain on the other mini bike and I rode it for about 45 minutes and haven't had a problem with it. So I won't get my bearings in until Tuesday night. I plan on doing a few upgrades. I want to, you know, maybe put a TCV kit on it. It's uh, the belt drive and I can do away with the clutch and chain assembly and put the belt drive. And it comes with a new housing cover and everything. I'm thinking about it. If you're into these mini bikes and you're into upgrading and stuff like that, or you want to check them out, I mean, you can get them on Amazon, but I've been reading the reviews, and if you get one of these shipped to your house, by the time it gets there, it's going to be beat up, busted up, scratched up, you name it. So it's best to maybe find one that you like. Uh, Coleman's not bad. I'm not going to say it's a great mini bike, but there's better ones out there. Um, if you do pick one of these up at your local tractor supply, make sure you know somebody or are yourself a little bit mechanically experienced or mechanically inclined because after watching lots of videos on these, there are issues that pop up. So you want to have a basic knowledge and basic skills and you will be working on it. And that's all there is to say. Um, you will be working on it. It's, uh, I suppose... If it was higher quality parts, higher quality materials, it wouldn't be so unreliable. But all in all, I'm not saying I'm upset or I'm mad or I'm angry. I, I just bought the thing. I should be on the phone with Coleman and saying, hey, man, I just bought this mini bike and the bearing already burned up. I don't even got, you know, 30 miles or 
15 miles. Hell, I don't even have a half a mile on it, but no, I'm, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it myself. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to start doing little mods. If you're into modifying these, you want to check out Red Beard, Red Beard's Garage. He's got these mini bikes and he does all kinds of neat stuff to them. Upgrades, things you can do. I learned a lot by watching his videos. You might want to check out his channel. So anyway, I will update you on this mini bike as soon as my parts come in. I'll probably show you the assembly and we'll hope for the best. So thank you all for watching. See you next time.